Hey girl, hey, this is Getting Younger, the show that celebrates all things younger. And if you are dying for tonight's episode to start and you don't know how you're going to get through the next 40 minutes, well, guess what? We got you covered. I'm your host, Taylor Strecker, live in Union Square in New York City. I'm wanting your questions and your comments and start sending them in now and vote in our very first fan poll. So last week, Josh covered up his Liza tattoo. If you were Josh's tattoo artist, what type of tattoo would you cover it with? The word Inkberg, a portrait of Maggie, I like that. A portrait of Pearl, the advice giving dog, this dog is haunting me, or don't cover it, what's the point? It's just a dragon. Type your vote in the comment section below and we'll get to all of that in just a few minutes. And I wanna give a special shout out to all of our Sling friends watching tonight. Hey guys, hey, hey, hey. Okay, I can't wait any longer to introduce my guest of the night. She plays self-made billionaire and author Quinn Tyler, Laura, Benanti, hi. hi. Did I say your last name right? You said it right. Girl, I've been Thank practicing. You. Benanti, Benanti. Everybody says Benanti, but I'm from New Jersey, so we say Benanti. Benanti. Yeah. Benanti is nicer. But. I'm from New England, so we say aunt. So. Oh, sure, sure, sure. So that's my go-to. <laughs> we know we say aunt. My E doesn't work yeah. that well. <laughs> also, tonight we're drinking a cocktail called What Happens in Frankfurt? Because so much happens in Frankfurt on tonight's episode. And that's all I can say about that. <laughs> okay, so cheers. Cheers. Thank you for joining me. Thanks we for having me. So much to unpack. I'm this actually like myself. This is drink. like a very awkward situation with the lime where it's just, I'm not sure how. Laura, it's actually a test. And you are I failed. <laughs> I don't know how to drink. I'm just gonna put my lime down. This is my oh. mocktail. Oh, this is good. You know, I had a mocktail last week. Mm -hmm. Little secret, not off my antibiotics, but I, I'm like, you know what? I'm almost there. This mocktail is delicious. <laughs> you know what it needs? It's a cocktail. Lime. <laughs> <laughs> hold okay. on. Just so, hold on there. Yeah. Have you been to Frankfurt? No. No. I never have. Never. Any desire to go? Sure. Right? Why not? I mean, it sounds, it sounds great. Germany is, you know, it's not my number one destination I want to go to in Europe. No, I, I actually just went to Italy. Oh, um, We went to Cortona in Tuscany, and then we went to Positano. But I have an 18-month-old daughter, and she slept for one single hour on the 10-hour flight. Stop. I wish Wait. I could. Wait. And yeah, and everyone was like, just give her, just give her Benadryl because it'll make her go to sleep. Right. I gave her Benadryl and it like only made her stronger. Oh my, was, yeah. oh my God. She, yeah, she like was like, thanks baby. for the baby crack. <laughs> like it was terrifying. <laughs> and then she learned that if she said like chow to people that they loved it. So she no. literally all night long was just like chow, 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 chow for like nine hours. She was cracked out of her mind. She was cracked out of her mind. <laughs> I know, it was, it was bad news. Oh, well, I'm happy you made the flight. How was the flight back? It was just as terrible. <laughs> it was just yeah. as terrible. <laughs> okay, so before we get into last week's episode, yes. uh, I basically want to brag on you for just Great. a minute. So you're a Tony award-winning Broadway powerhouse. Wow. You've also been seen on TV in yes. everything, Nurse yeah. Jackie, Nashville, Law & Order SVU. How did you uh, get to get your role on Younger? I mean, it's a pretty boring story. They called and they said, hey, would you like to play this character? And I was like, yes, I would. Because yes, I, I love the show and I love Sutton and... Who doesn't want to play a self-made billionaire, billionaire. named Quinn oh my. with a book called Claw? I mean, come on. Do How you, do you say no to that? Do you agree with Claw's uh, mantra, if you will? I don't. No? You know, okay, good. Uh, yeah. I really don't. I, I'm a big, like, lady for lady sort of a lady. <laughs> I, How many times can I'm you say lady? I'm a same lady. lady. <laughs> so it was interesting for me to to say those things um, because I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't sort of believe that, uh, I don't believe it necessarily. It's every woman for herself. I don't believe that. Uh -huh. It's funny because my, my, um, my dad, he's a psychotherapist and a holistic health counselor. Oh my God, you are the luckiest person. I know, else. I really, really am. Oh. I know. And uh, he always taught me that, you know, if life is a wall, if you spend all of your time trying to scratch other people who are climbing up the wall, you're never gonna get to the top. So just like get to the top and then when you get there, lean over and help everybody else up. I love that analogy. And I think so many women are taught that we have to claw each other off that, for better, for worse. And I just don't think that that's accurate. I think that's times true. are changing, I hope. I think times are changing. It certainly feels like 2018 is a, is a big year for women just being like, no, all of this is garbage. Time's up. Time is up, amen. <laughs> okay, well, let's take a look back at last week's episode when Charles and Liza's relationship took an unexpected turn. Roll it. After what happened with Kelsey, I'm trying to keep work and us separate. And I thought that we agreed that we, we would keep us 
quiet for now. I know, I know we did. But I, I just spent the weekend telling my daughter not to be some guy's secret. And I don't want to be in a relationship I can't be open about. I understand. But now is just not the right time. Was it all for her? Call me when it is. I wish it for me. That's some powerful stuff right there. Oy vey. I'm so upset because I feel like Charles and Liza, oh, I don't know, took five seasons to get here, and now she's just like, peace, but it's self-respect, so I have self -respect. to. It's self-respect. I mean, I, I loved that moment, actually. Yeah. And I think it was played so beautifully by Sutton. She's such a wonderful actress. But I, that would, that's a really tough thing to do. And I think it speaks to her maturity that, you know, she's not a 20-year-old girl who's like, I just want to be with you. And you know? I'll be your secret for as long as exactly. necessary. Exactly, yeah. She's a grown woman and with a child who's like, I don't want to be your secret. I think it's great. I know, I like, I want to empathize with Charles, but at the, at the end of the day, it's like, hoorah, female empowerment. So I got to yeah. go with her. Yeah, of I got course. to. We, we got to choose her. Well, also speaking of, you know, empowerment, mm -hmm. um, Quinn, yeah. very empowered woman. Very. She's getting cozy with Charles. She's got her eye on that man. Yeah. Is she a threat for Liza? I don't want to give anything away. Okay, I know. I just people. watched I watched the finale today. Oh, you did? Girl, I'm shook. I know. Oh! It's it's pretty uh, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. Um so I don't want to give anything away. Um but yeah, she definitely has her eye on him for sure. Yeah. So maybe like like a like a orange alert. <laughs> We're not at amber. Yeah. So not that, amber alert is a very different thing I'm realizing. That's about children who have yes. been stolen. Yes. It's not an, not amber, an amber alert. alert. Guys, just not an everybody amber alert. know it's not an amber alert. It's not yellow, Liza. it's not red, but it's orange. Okay, that oh. sound means, that sound means your poll results are in. Last week, Josh covered up his Liza tattoo. So if you were Josh's tattoo artist, what type of tattoo would you cover it with? And the majority of you said, don't. Why? It's a friggin' dragon. Yeah. Nobody, it doesn't say Liza the dragon. It's yeah. just a dragon. Yeah. Silly Josh. I feel like that was really his moment to be like, I'm done with Liza, and so dramatic, like with his yeah. tattoos. Yeah. But I, funny enough, have a tattoo Stop. that's covering up another tattoo. Tell what, okay. what and what. So when I was 22 years old, my I, I had a tattoo on the small of my back, of course. Obviously. Because it was, you know, the early 2000s. And um, of, a, of the Asian symbol for warrior. And was it actually warrior? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? And um, my boyfriend at the time showed up to like a Mother's Day dinner with my family. And I was like, you seem off, you seem weird. And he was like, no, I'm fine. Cut to, he got a giant version of the same tattoo also on his lower back. No, 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 I had a boyfriend that had, I mean, for lack of a better term, tramp stamp, I right? Know. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So, no offense. My, None my, taken. My ex, I, I <sighs> thought on him and I was like, what is this tramp stamp? And it was porpoises jumping in a circle. Did he, was he drunk and did his friends make him do it? Um, the porpoises were very homely. I'll, I, they weren't even attractive ones. First of all, thank you for calling them porpoises and not dolphins. You're welcome. And also it's poor pie. Oh, I'm so, so embarrassed. It's actually, I have no idea. The poor pie. But I just think poor pie is a really <laughs> funny word. But so then I covered it up with a, a giant butterfly. Of course. Which is the worst. Oh my God, did he copy that as well? No, because we by that point I was like, bye. You're like, hey, psycho. You're psycho. Yeah. yeah, you're copying you're, my, my no, girl tattoo? horrible. Yeah, no. and literally my daughter the other day, I was changing and she pointed to it and went, mama, ooh. <laughs> I, I, I like, want to be best friends with your yes, daughter. No, she's Definitely, crazy. for sure. She's crazy person. Okay, guys, it's time for poll number two. The younger yeah. season finale is next week. The best way to describe how you feel is not emotionally prepared, mm -hmm. dying with anticipation, too sad to even think about it, or wait, the finale is next week. Cast your vote by typing it in the comment section below, and we'll get to that in about five minutes. And keep those comments and questions coming as well, because it's time for some fan questions for you, Ms. Thay. So we've got tons of fan questions pouring in all day long. Great. Let's go to Jamie L. Laura, will you be on more episodes? I don't know. So tonight's episode, I don't know. I don't want to give anything away. Well, I'll be in the finale. I'll be in, I'll be in episode 12. Oh, yes, she will. Yes, and that's, but in terms of the future, I don't know. I think, I'm going to predict, mm -hmm. having seen the finale, yeah. yes. 
I just that's I, what I would that's what I would imagine. I feel it in the bones. That's what I would imagine. I've got I've, I've got never. special skills like this. <laughs> I can predict what's gonna happen after I see the finale. I mean, great. <laughs> okay, let's go to another fan question. I also have some fan questions too, okay. as I am a fan. Yeah. Um, another one from Jamie L. She's really sneaking in there. Oh, are you and Sutton friends? We are friends. So have you guys known each other for a while in the industry? We have known each other for a million years because we, you know, both are come from Broadway. Yes. And so we've known each other for probably 15 years. God. And our daughters are just a few weeks apart in no age. No way. Yeah. Play dates? Not yet. They're too we, young. No, I mean, yeah, we you have play dates now, but we just both, we've been so busy, so we're gonna, we're, we're trying to figure it out. What happens if your kids don't get along? <laughs> then we have to just give them away. I agree. Yeah. Thank we're you. Like, go, go. Thank you. Yeah, just put them in a boat, put yeah, them out you to guys, sea. This, Wherever this is they land, us. that's where they live now. <laughs> okay, another question from All Michelle right. M. If you were going to be in a Broadway show with Sutton Foster, Ooh. what show would it be? And love you! <gasps> Exclamation point. Thank you, Michelle. God, if I was going to be in a show with Sutton, what would it be? Uh, maybe Chicago. Ooh, ooh, right? yeah, yeah. Tell That'd me more. Fun. Rolls. I, I don't, I, I mean, she has to do all the dancing. Okay. And then I'll just stand there and be like, yeah. <laughs> You know point. what I mean? I'll just point to her and then be like, mm -hmm. I'll just be like this. This is my Fosse. <laughs> You're going to send yeah. me to a coughing fit with all this yeah, laughing. No, please don't. Okay. Fall. Let's go to uh, another question. Paulina I says, Laura, what's your favorite show tune? Oh my gosh. That is sort of impossible to choose because I love them all. I'm a big Stephen Sondheim fan. Really? Because, because yeah, I have like a, just a dark, dark soul. Um, that's not true. But uh, I Remember Sky is probably one of my favorite songs ever written. It's not a show tune. I would not call it a show tune. But I mean, in terms of like an actual show tune, probably The Sound of Music. I know, it's just so I good. mean, it's just perfect. I know, right? It's a perfect song. Not to brag, I was Liza. <gasps> what? Or Liesl. Liesl, yeah, Liza. I was like, Liza. <laughs> I, was, I was Liza playing Liesl. I was perfect. Liesl in a very important community theater production. Yes, I don't want you to important. feel threatened. I do. <laughs> I do. So if you didn't want me to, you probably shouldn't have said it. Well, maybe, so. maybe I'm clawing you. No. Oh, girl, see what I did there. <laughs> okay, guys, more fan questions. Uh, T. Okay, Callie. Callie Hi. R says, Laura, what was it like working with Hillary Duff and, of course, Sutton? I feel like you've answered the Sutton question. Yeah. Yeah. I, it was delightful. I mean, it. You know, she's someone who has been famous for so long. I know. And you would not know it. She is so kind and hardworking right. and smart and funny. And I really like Im immediately felt very comfortable with her. It's a really lovely set. It's a really nice group of people. It's not always easy coming onto a set that like pre-exists. That was one of my questions was coming in season five, what was it like? Was it like new kid at school? But, but yeah. you knew Sutton, so it was. I did know Sutton, so that's helpful. And I, maybe I've been doing this for so long and I've come into a lot of shows that are, you know, have been running for a long time. Mm -hmm. And so, I, and I think because I'm a mom too and I'm just so tired that I'm just like, hi, if you like me, you like me. And if you don't, it's cool. I'll just nap. Being exhausted is like it's the, best the best freedom. Armor. Well, or just Ever. freedom, because you're like, I don't have time to, yeah. I don't have the energy to care. You know what I mean? Which makes but, people more drawn to you. Yes, they're like, oh, what is happening she doesn't here? Give shit. What is this magic? And you're like, no, I'm just literally a walking dead person. I'm a zombie. <gasps> An actual zombie. Liza. I'm asleep and my eyes are open. Ugh. I know, that noise is just basically, well, telling us your poll results yeah. are in. What are my poll so, results? So, uh, the younger season finale is next week. The best way to describe how you feel is. A tie between sad and not not emotionally prepared. No. I have to say, I'm I'm all of the above. I'm like, wait, it's already next week. I'm sad. I'm dying. I'm not prepared. I'm, I'm everything. I'm coughing emojis yeah. across the board. Yeah. It's too soon. It's just too soon. It's just too soon. Yeah. Okay, so let's do another poll. Okay. Liza starts to feel insecure when she sees Charles on Quinn's Instagram. So if you saw a person you just started dating on someone else's social media, like kind of flirting, would you? Yes. Call them out? Yes. Or play it cool but keep an eye on the situation? Oh. Start by voting and typing your comments in the section below. Um, yeah, I really want to get into this with you. So yeah. have you ever fallen into the trap of social media spying? Yes. Okay, who? Have I ever? Let's go. I just did it on Saturday. Oh my God. And it was psycho. Listen, I... 
I can't, this is, that's TMI. I was about to say something that I'm like, oh no, people are watching this. Don't say that out loud. This is not, no one's watching. This is not a therapy session, no, Laura. It is. This it's is just you and It's just us? Okay, yes. cool. I'm gonna lay down on this couch real quick. <laughs> no, I have gotten into some very heavy stalking of, um, of exes, new people. Okay, right, yeah. that's mine. It's yeah. like, it's not even the ex. I don't even care about the ex. No. It's all about the new person. Yes. Yeah. Is she better? Is she prettier? Is yes. she smarter? Is she more successful? Why is she so good at these yoga poses right. in the water? Why is she so joyful? Why is Ugh. her name two letters? Right. I'm giving, now I'm giving away Yeah, like much. why is everything on the inside, like a gentle whitewash? Like why is everything right? linen? Why is everything linen? And why does it all match? Because I can't get mine to do no. that. I don't want mine to do that. Because Thank that's you. not authentic, that's not life. That's freeing. Yeah, I'm not a magazine editor. No. I'm me. Yes. Just trying to be out Just here. Just wearing Zara. You gotta Do bring your thing. You know me. Also, quick shout out to Zara. Can we change the name from Zara Basic? Yeah, right. Have you noticed that? Yeah. It's like Zara Basic. I'm like, I don't want to be wearing Zara Basic. I want to be wearing like Zara Yes Girl. Yeah, you know Zara, what I mean? You know what they should change from Zara Basic to Yara, Zara, Zara Yes, yes girl. girl. I'm with you. Or Yas Queen. Yas Queen. Yas Queen. Yas Queen. Okay. Which I tried to get my daughter to say. And? She didn't. Working on it. Okay. <laughs> Do you think, and I like the priorities by the way. Yeah. I'm so Please. here for it all. Please. Do you think social media makes dating harder or easier? I don't know because I'm married. Yeah, aren't you like grateful? Yes, I think social media, I have two feelings about social media. Okay. On one hand, I feel like it can really connect us and be a wonderful way for like-minded people to communicate. Totally. And then on the other hand, it's the actual devil and it's gonna kill us all. Because, I agree with can you imagine being in middle school and having someone make a Facebook page about you? No. How, like, how, I, we had burn books and I thought I was gonna like, die a thousand deaths. And that was like, you might never even get your hands on yeah. this. Exactly. I just, to me, the anonymous, the anonymous ability to hurt people is what scares me. And hurt someone and not have to see that you've hurt them. Right. You can just lob a bomb and be like, bye. You don't see the effect uh -uh. that you have on these people. And it's, it's kind of like creating I think just not a great situation. I call it keyboard confidence. It's yes. like, oh, you can be so tough with your fingertips. Yes, exactly. Say it to my Living face. in your mom's basement. Yeah, oh, you're so in your mom's you basement. Know what I mean? they re the trolls really hate when you make that reference. Sorry about it, because you do. I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't find you in your mom's basement. Yeah. No offense to somebody who lives in their mom's basement no. is not a troll. Right, Rock honestly, on. I would live in my mom's basement if I could, because I love my mom, <laughs> and their basement's nice. I would actually just like live in between my mom and dad and their bed. Yeah, same. Which is like weirder than the basement because there's no freedom. <laughs> That's true. I would live at the foot. I wouldn't come in between them. I you would know just what? Live at the foot. I'm crazy. You're correct. Thank you. Yeah. And I'm glad that we created those boundaries. <laughs> so Both of our happy. parents are like, "What have we done? What's wrong with them?" We love them. Yeah. No, my You're mom's welcome, like, Laura, why are you doing?" It? Are you up for a game? Yes. Okay, always. so let's play um Benanti, yep. or Benonsense. I love That's it. That's a mouthful. So Laura, we, uh, we want to get to know you better. Okay, so great. we have some statements that okay. may or may not be true about you. And guys at home, uh, you're gonna vote on what you think it is by typing your answer mm -hmm. in the comment section below. You know the drill. So don't give the answer away, okay? okay? But it's a true or false. I'm gonna read like, as if I were you, and then uh, we're gonna vote. So I'm kind of like against the audience, which okay. I hate, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, I do a killer Melania Trump impression. True or false? Don't give it away. I'm gonna say, I could just tell that you can and definitely do a killer Melania Trump impression. I do. Let's see what the audience thinks. She was lying when she said I do. She oh. doesn't know yet. She's not even sure. Hundred percent. Right. Okay, so they they knew it. They knew it. And obviously, and because now I know how the it. game works. Yes. And now I've got the game. And great because we got have it. two more questions. Okay, to great. <laughs> so I'm just gonna fall. Asleep. I'm just gonna sleep for this part. Okay. Gently. Okay. Just take a tiny little nap. Just a tiny snooze. Like a yeah, like a like a little disco nap. Mm -hmm. I was in Greece live, and Greece was also my Broadway debut. True or false? Okay. So we know you're a Broadway maven. I saw Grease live, but I was drunk. <laughs> so I don't remember everything. And uh, th 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 I browned out. So, uh, God, the audience is saying it's true. I'm actually going to say it's false because I don't think you were in Grease live. Do I answer now? You answer now. False. Yeah, yeah. False. Guys. Why? 
Why wasn't I in it? Well, why is it false? <laughs> I, I, I wasn't in it. I was in the Sound of Music live. Yeah, she was. And then Sound of Music was my Broadway debut. Where yeah. I played Maria on Broadway when I was 19. And then I did the Sound of Music live with Carrie Underwood. And then also Sound of Music on Younger. Oh, yeah. It's like worlds. Yes, yes. It's it's it is. It really is. Who are those people who think I was in Greece? I don't know. Clearly not your number one fans, no. unlike me. No. I'm winning. Okay. <laughs> this is the last and tiebreaker uh, question. I perform in a cabaret show with my mom. True or false? What do you guys think? I, because you want to sleep at the foot of your mom's bed, I feel like you want to do everything with her, which I get, because I want to do everything with my mom. If I could marry my mom, I totally would. <laughs> it would be non-sexual, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just like, I want her companionship. Yeah. Aren't most marriages non-sexual? Girl, yes, point? they are the good ones. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the audience says true. I'm also going to go with true, because I think that you would definitely do a cabaret show with your mom. And? It's true. It's true. Yeah. So my mom was an actress and then um, quit acting in order to raise me and my sister in a way that was meaningful to her. I love that. And, and when my daughter was three months old, I convinced her to do to get back on stage with me. She hadn't been on stage in 35 years. Oh my God, so what was that yeah. like for her? Was she terrified she or was, was she terrified? terrified? So and then at, as soon as it was done, she was like, I can't believe it's been 35 years. Like, what have I been doing? Why and have I been doing this? Recently, right? Yeah, we started doing it when my, so like 15 months ago and we've been doing it all over the country. <gasps> It's really, really That's exciting. That's so much it's really fun. Cool. It's my, like one of my favorite things that I get to do. I love that. My mom Thank wanted you. to manage me and I was like, no. Oh, my mom was like, don't be an actor, please. Really? Learn coding. Yeah. And I was like, but I don't have any other skills. So I'm an actor. I think you're doing pretty well. Huh? I'm, I'm, I'm behind <laughs> your choice. Right. I'm behind your choice. Uh, and by the way, audience got two out of three and <laughs> I got three out of three, yeah, right? Yeah, did, yeah. I, did I, did I, did I? Liza. Okay, fine, they don't, I can't gloat. Maybe I had the answers. Okay, so anyway, uh, you guys, so if you saw the person you just started dating on someone else's social media mm. and it felt flirty, what would you do? And the majority of you said, call it out. Yes, I like direct, yes, 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 yes. That's what you do, I mean, I could, I'm not cool playing it cool. No. I am a true psycho. Yeah. I don't ever send out the representative. Yeah. I send out the crazy that is me. Yeah. Take it or leave it. I try, I like do a thing where I'm like, I'm cool, no, I'm cool, it's yeah. great. And then I like explode yes. into a million pieces. So how Over many? nothing and then I seem insane. Like over what, like? Over like the dishwasher. Literally nothing, exactly. Or like the toilet seat. Yeah. 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 Or like the way the toilet paper faces. Right. That's one of my favorite fights of all time. Yeah, for sure. Like I don't even get it. Just, there's one way, but it's fine. No, oh, oh, there is. Oh, you're like, no, that's a real fight. And it should, like, no, should no, be happening. Yeah, it and should always wrong. be, but it's fine. Okay, yeah. guys. It's time for some more fan questions, so let's get to it. I also have questions of my own. Okay, what's your favorite part of playing Quinn? Um, my favorite part is her confidence. Oh, it's... You know, I enjoy playing um, a woman who is very confident and not trying to be charming or... Um, desirable in any way. She's just like a straight shooter. Oh, there's my ambulance. I gotta go, bye. Um, so <laughs> New York my, City. My firemen are here, bye. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, I, the, I think that's my favorite part. The confidence and yeah. the kind of like, I don't give an F attitude. Yeah, I like that about her. She really doesn't, yeah. Like no. even though she like likes Charles, she's not like throwing herself at him or no. altering her behavior. No, nor is she, you know, I think a lot of times as a woman on television, you have to be like likable. Yeah. And she's not worried about it. And yeah. that's a freedom. I like that. Yeah, me too. Let's go to Beth G. We see a lot of funny younger bloopers. Once one cast member laughs, it seems totally contagious. Yeah. Did anyone on the uh, cast break you up? Um, no. I'm like, it's funny when I'm on Because you're hysterical. I'm so funny. I'm you very are so funny. funny. So they mostly laughed at me. I mean, let's be honest. You're like, they couldn't control themselves. Yeah, no, 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 but I was fine. I was good. Yeah, I was, no. Uh, I break up on stage, but there's something about, like, easily. Very, I'm a very easy target on stage. So what do you do? I laugh, and it's horrible. And yeah. in, in the middle of the show? Yeah. Do you work it in? No. You're I just, just like, stand there like break? A, yeah, so I did this play called Meteor Shower uh -huh. with Amy Schumer and Keegan-Michael Key that, uh -huh. um, Jeremy Shemos that, that Steve Martin wrote. And once they figured out how easy of a target I was, they would like, they just targeted me the entire time. That's cruel. And they cruel. bullied me. No, I know, they're horrible, mean people. You're Jimmy Fallon on SNL. Yeah. Always laughing. Always laughing. But it's like the best. Yes, but also terrible. <gasps> but so, so, but weirdly, when I'm shooting, I don't, I don't laugh. 
Huh. I don't like get the giggles, but I, I like when other people do. Peter Herman does. Peter? Holy. Oh my God. Holy. Peter had the giggles for like, I want to say almost like 45 minutes or something. No. And I was like, sir. We gotta get back to I work. Could have had, I could have left, had a pizza and come back. <laughs> Right. Okay, let's go to uh, Carrie S. Do you enjoy working in theater or TV more? That's you know, tough. I like them for different reasons. Yeah. I love the interactive experience of theater. You know, it feels sort of like an ancient art form in the way that we've been passing down stories since we, you know, started walking on two legs. Mm -hmm. um, so for that, I will always love it. It's what I grew up wanting to do. Um, but I really enjoy television as well. It, it's um, it's challenging, you know, the I think of the camera as almost like a lie detector test. It's really? so close to you. Yeah, it's so close to you. If you are not really invested in what you're saying, if you're not really connected as an actor, it's you can tell. Um, Whereas on stage, maybe you can kind of get away like, with it a yeah, little bit. Yeah, it's like a little bit farther away. So as long as you like have big gestures, you're fine. Is it um, less stressful though, like in terms of memorizing lines or? I don't find, uh, I, I don't worry about like forgetting my lines on stage. I don't know why. Um, I actually weirdly worry more about on, being on camera because everybody's waiting for you. Right. You know, I hate making the crew wait because they work so hard. They work harder than anybody else. They're mm -hmm. there before anyone else gets there and they're the last people to leave. Yep. So when all the actors are like, bye, I'm exhausted. They're like, oh great, we're loading out and then we're you know, packing up and maybe loading into the next location or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So I just don't like to waste anybody's time. You don't hold them up. I don't. Yep. So I get really anxious about like knowing my lines. So I'm like so a little bit theater. of a crazy person about That's it. That's crazy. Yeah. Let's go to Michelle M. I know your daughter loves music. Yes. Does she have a favorite song right now? And do you sing to her much? So this is very funny. So she's just recently discovered that she can watch me singing on television. Stop. So now, Wait, what was I, the first experience like when she? So it was realized. pretty amazing. It's, so I did a musical on Broadway called She Loves Me, mm -hmm. and you can watch it on Broadway HD and on PBS. That's and so cool. There's a song called Vanilla Ice Cream. And my husband was like, let's just put it on and see what happens. Cause he put it on when she was younger and she didn't care. And she was like, oh my God. Watching it. And she was like, more, more, more. And now she will. We and she a, totally got it with you. Totally got it. She was like, mama, mama, mama singing, mama singing. Oh and we have an echo. And so now she'll be like, echo, mama ice cream. Mama Ice Cream. Oh she my She wants to hear me God. singing vanilla ice cream. But her, her very favorite song is um, Single Ladies. And she asks, she's like, Echo, play, oh, 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 please. <laughs> and does it? No. I have to be like, Echo, play single ladies. Please. I know. Alexa's like, I don't know what you're saying. I'm like, Alexa! But we, we make her say please now because I realized it was turning her into a monster. I don't want her to one day walk into a coffee shop and be like, Echo, coffee! You right. know what I mean? Like it's creating all of these like psychopaths who just like scream demands at people. I am now scared to get a dog or have children after the way I treat Alexa. Yeah. I am verbally abusive to her. We are very loving. But my daughter will be like, like she'll feed me like crackers and then she'll be like, Echo? Like she wants to feed Echo crackers. <laughs> it's amazing. Let's go to Ellen G. Who do you think is the funniest on Younger? Oh, that's hard. They I love mean, to really get in there and, you know, break everything up. Yeah, I mean, everybody's pretty funny. Everybody has a really great, personality sense of humor mm -hmm. yeah I couldn't choose I couldn't choose a funniest I don't think you can vote for yourself and or and then me yeah so obviously. obviously me obviously yeah we established this yeah I felt, I felt like we did <gasps> so no. tonight's episode of younger is moments away guys Woo! and we're going to give you a sneak peek this is what happens next we do this every week I'm going to play a clip from tonight's episode freeze it at a certain moment and then you're going to vote on what you think happens next roll it Hello, youngster. Mm. Did they card you at the door? <sighs> Cheryl, I'm not here to get blackmailed. Look, what I want to say is... Freeze! Freeze! What does Cheryl Sussman want to say to Liza? Congratulations. I have my eye on Charles. Is he single? Let me buy you a drink or it's time to pay the piper. Vote by typing your answer in the comment section below. I saw the episode and I still don't remember. So good luck to you guys. Right now though, it's time to play okay. Invino Veritas. So while the fans are voting, Invino Veritas. So here's the deal. In wine, there's truth, obs. So we have, th j this is for the audience. Last week, my precious baby, somebody killed her. I took, I took the heat because I'm a team player, but I didn't break her. Somebody else did. And now 
she's back. Well, oh. she's been replaced. Right. So I'm so excited. We had to use like a dinky wine glass. It was very sad. Sorry. So in here are a bunch of questions from castmates of Younger. Okay. They all filled them in when they came in for the yeah season premiere. And I want you to pick one, read who it's from, and then answer the question. My name is Debbie. Oh. My question for any cast member is, where is your dream destination for a cast slash filmed trip? Debbie loves to trip. <sighs> she loves to travel. I mean, honestly, I would say Sevilla in Spain or Tuscany in Italy. Isn't Tuscany it's magical? It's magical. Oh. It's absolutely magical. And they have the best wine there. Like, I, the, my favorite wines come from Tuscany. We were there for 10 days and I gained 14 pounds. You are <laughs> lying. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I and, love you. And I came back and I had to do a, a Milan, I do the Melania impersonation on Colbert. Yeah. And so they have my clothes for me, you sure. know, my size. And they were like, oh, oh, okay. They had to like go out and shop for other clothes for me. Fortunately, it was right after the coat scandal, so I could just like wear that trench coat. Oh, thank like, God. Nobody look at what's happening underneath here. <gasps> Wait a second. 14 what pounds in 10 days. What do you days. think was the culprit? Probably the three times a day gelato. Yeah, heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll probably um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner gelato, and also just the insane amounts of pasta. Oh, and the burrata. Oh my God, all of it. Just drowning. Just, just yeah, human burrata. Coma. Just like Liza. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, tonight's final poll results are in. What does Cheryl Sussman want to say to Liza? And the majority of you said, time to pay the piper. I, I admitted I actually don't remember, but that actually seems like a very intelligent guess. Yeah. But you could be wrong, you could be right, but we're about to find out soon because tonight's episode of Younger is about to start. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Laura, for hanging out with me. Thank you. You for are hysterical me. and fun, and you I do. You are the best. You are the best. Who? Best friends? Okay, yes. sure. Yes. Yes. We're going to sleep in our parents' beds. Oh my together. God. All of our parents are going to be so excited. Like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh my God. Nightmare. Sorry. <laughs> I, I have PTSD from that movie. Okay. Thank you so much to the fans for watching. We love you. The show is for you, and we'll be back next week week for a very special finale episode. Ooh. It's going to be a post show, okay? So as soon as the season finale of Younger ends, tune in to Getting Younger right here. And um, I'm gonna be joined by Hilary Duff and oh. Darren Starr. Whoa. And we're gonna be unpacking all of our season five feelings. And guess what? It's actually a long episode. So the audience is always begging for more, 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 more. Yeah. Well, guess what? You begged long enough and you got it. So it's like, a, it's, a, it's a little extra um, time you get there. And I watched it and I'm shook. So get excited. <laughs> In the meantime, be sure to check out our podcast, Younger Uncovered. We can keep up with all the recaps and we'll leave you now with some bloopers from tonight's episode. Bye guys. It's gonna be great. We got this. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to next week when he's in Frankfurt. It'll be easier. Frankfurt? Yeah, that's it. Didn't sound right. Ever since you two pressed pause, it's like... Um, we've had plenty of... Sorry. Resetting. Take my job away. Someone else will be playing the role. Hillary Tom. No. Before we f***ing adjourn... Well, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like how you wanted to leave? I pooped in my pants, guys. Just a little bit, but I can sit there for a while. I just, I can't believe I'm here. I mean, I, 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 after I heard, mm, 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 mm. I was talking so loudly. I can't believe I can't hear. Wow. Light on later. F me. El Canuckle. El Canuckle. <laughs> book makes such a splash that they call it the book of the something. Fair. Fair. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, that'd have been impromptu. Oh, 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 Jesus oh, Christ, oh, superstar. Oh, Hi, everyone. Oh. oh. Can we try again? We have to go back a little bit. By world renowned. That round, 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 round. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so this hipster. <laughs> you want to try again? Yeah, please. You guys want to hear something funny? Yes. Sorry, one more. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oopsie. Sorry. Oh my God. I missed the side. That really got me. <laughs> um, I wanted to get you an erotic cake from the, um, <laughs> it really does sound like neurotic. Now it's all I can hear. <laughs> I have to try okay. again. Oh. 
<laughs> you have lipstick on your Belligerent. Don't go home with that. Did you just lick my hand? <laughs> oh, oh, no, he did it. Subscribe to Younger Uncovered. The podcast dedicated to all things younger.